and some private network uh, contracts. And, you know, this is good for their company, but uh, I, I think I have my doubts and I have my concerns. And some of those concerns came up in the live stream last night as presented by Carlos S. Tech, and they are legitimate. All right, I'll be sure to link this article. There's more coming out from T-Mobile about these types of announcements. Uh, so stay tuned as we do cover more of these updates. A link for the original article from uh, Yahoo Finance will be in the description. You guys can find it there. Also, ways to support us in the description. All right, so T-Mobile has announced that it's collaborating with Pixel Health to deploy a 5G hybrid network at Boston Children's Hospital. First instance when a 5G hybrid network implemented in the healthcare sector. Uh, they actually announced a, a second contract, a second deal, uh, yesterday as well, and I forget the, the terms of it or, or with which entity it's with. Uh, but, you know, Timo has, they, they have a very cutting edge uh, process to their networking, uh, being on the forefront of all things 5G and NR standards and those types of things. It, it puts T-Mobile in the catbird seat to maybe land some of these types of deals, uh, creating these types of networks, being that they are kind of, uh, you know, pushing forward with those, you know, more modernized standards, you know, and look, I, I, I'm, I think that's their advantage, right? They can present this to those potential suitors, uh, but where I think T-Mobile has to address things and where they have to change things is the fact that something that's a healthcare network, you know, whether it's hybrid 5G, the technology, whatever it is, they still have to address their security. You know, they, they continue to have systems issues, leaks, breaches, weakness. Uh, and, and I think businesses see that. And while these things may be, you know, good for them, uh, I, I don't see kind of an inclination of, of how they're addressing the breaches, the system failures, those types of things. So while this is good for the T-Mobile business and, you know, it, it's, it's good to see this going their way instead of just towards like Verizon and or AT&T or whatever, uh, I, I, I can't say that I'm confident that this is going to work out in the long term. And of course, these companies can always, they can always leave, right? They can terminate contracts, breach a contract if something were to happen and T-Mobile can't hold up their end of the bargain. I, I wonder how many folks out there, just comment down below, feel the same way as me if you have reservations or if you see this, you know, with, with magenta colored shades. You know, I, I don't know. It just what do you guys think? Because to me, I feel like healthcare, hospital care, that type of business is no joke and, and is non-compromise. You know, you just, it's one of those things that's non-negotiable. Security is a must. And they haven't shown ability to secure anything you know they really they can't they can't even secure their own employee systems so what do you guys think though uh let me know um next order of business and i'll just kind of tie this in here at the end and uh, uh this one i believe is kind of where, where did it go here it is all right so uh this one is some hiring that's happening in rochester new york uh just to give you some of the details a thousand new possible candidates for a customer experience center. Uh, they're doing this actually across different parts of the country. And I wanna talk about this because I wonder this one thing. This report just came out that T-Mobile is gonna be forcing customers onto newer plans unless you opt out, which means there's gonna be a heavy inflow of calls and customer curbs that need to field these calls. Now they're gonna do their best to try to get you to switch and, and get on these newer plans and stuff like that. They've got a whole script for it. But smart customers are going to want to hold on to their old plans because of the money difference. They're going to want to save their money. But they're going to have to field those calls. And guys, I've, I've kind of crunched the numbers. I, I, I think the number of T-Mobile customers that are on legacy plans, I'm pretty sure it's between about 50 and 60%. So most customers are not on these newer go 5g plans it might be closer to 70 percent depending because they're not counting magenta max customers and i think that i mean that's a substantial number that might be 10 or 15 million customers but guys i it's it's a majority of customers on the t-mobile network are on these legacy plans right so magenta the one the magenta 55 plus simple choice select choice and simple choice business that is a bulk of the t-mobile customers like a large majority 
they're going to be fielding these calls. And I don't know how many are going to call and, and, and all of that, but they, they're going to need a customer care reps. I think that's that can't be overlooked. I mean, who knows? Wait times could be beyond an hour to do this. This is heavy. Uh, first of all, give me your estimation how many customers impacted. Give me your estimation of what percentage of customers are going to call to opt out. And uh, tell me what you guys think of that move to do some hiring. If they're going to be the ones fielding these calls, and tell me about the healthcare piece. Love to hear what you guys have to say on this. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.